we are here along the beautiful coast of Lazio, near the 10th century city of Sperlonga, which takes its name from a famous villa of the Roman emperors, with its natural grotto as a unique feature. This villa, noted in the ancient sources as being nearby the inland city of Fondi and along the coast just south of Terracina. The location of this villa attributed to Tiberius is mentioned in two key passages in Tacitus and Suetonius concerning an incident that occurred in the year 26 during the life of Tiberius, a partial collapse of the vaulting at the entrance of the Grotto Villa, as it was known, near Fondi. Chunks of the ceiling collapsed and killed some guests, and the Praetorian prefect Sejanus used his own body to shield the emperor and save his life. We know that later, with Tiberius withdrawing to Capri from 26 to 37, that Sejanus essentially ran Rome and almost killed the emperor himself until Tiberius caught wind of his conspiracy and had him executed in 31. The Grotto of Tiberius is one of the most amazing archaeological sites you can visit because you can actually walk inside and feel what it was like to dine with the emperor himself. Up above on the hill above the villa, you have a great museum which has the sculpture groups mostly from the Odyssey pieced back together, but they were originally located right inside. The marvelous statuary that once decorated these alcoves in the grotto, and even a platform in the middle of the pool for the delight of the emperor and the imperial guests, were on display throughout antiquity, and then later, after antiquity, smashed and left on site, only to be rediscovered here in the grotto in 1957, and had been on display in the on-site museum that was built here in 1963. It seems to be possible that the artwork in the grotto was a commission by Tiberius himself, known for his interest in obscure facts and aspects of mythology and history, as well as the subject matter itself of Odysseus, who was tied to the local topography, such as the island of Circe, just a bit south down the Lazio coast, and the subject matter, Odysseus, displayed blinding Polyphemus in a cave, Scylla, who devoured sailors in the Straits of Messina, the Pasquino group, Odysseus defending the corpse of Achilles, and the Palladium group, stealing the Palladium statue from Troy, all tie the exploits of a traveling wily Odysseus, who incidentally underlined and paralleled the life of Tiberius that he had led at one point living in exile for years in the island of Rhodes until finally called back by Augustus to be his heir in Rome. The names of three famous artists appear on the Scylla statue. The same names that appear on the Laocoon in Rome, but different technical features distinguish one group from another and suggest that the Laocoon statue is actually earlier due to a different marble type and the fact that it is made of piecing together six different components of marble. So what is the date of the statuary in Sperlonga? The statuary on the site found in the grotto has been determined to be Dukimian Phrygian marble from modern day Turkey due to a recent analysis, isotopic and other technical analyses definitively identify this as originating in Turkey. And this type of marble was not quarried before the last decades BCE. And most probably were quarried out and then carved by sculptors on site for this unique location thereby fitting a late Augustan Tiberian date for the sculptural groups and most intricately and persuasively are tied to the persona of the Emperor Tiberius. Tiberius's grotto, Spelunca, his cave, but also part of a massive villa complex 
right behind me here. And this is used for centuries by successive emperors, but the real stamp on the uh, decoration uh, and the usage here, dining right along the sea, is from Tiberius. You have a nice sweeping view of this extensive villa, which actually continues on the other side of this hill. It was a quite sprawling complex. And you can see most of the walls here are faced with opus reticulatum. So this is dating it here to the uh, early Julio-Claudian period, Augustan age. We have a central courtyard here. You could definitely accommodate a lot of guests to the emperor. And here as we pan, we're actually passing over a large latrine area and in the distance, the Grotto of Tiberius. In this section we have in the lower area, the remains of a kitchen and up above uh, accommodations for sleeping, having a seaside view. Here we pivot over to the area where the sea actually comes in and butts up against this stupendous natural grotto. It is an amazing site to visit and we have a real connection to the imperial family and an area of grand entertainment. It's not just seeing history, it's experiencing history. And of course, one of the great places you can do that is here in the Grotto of Tiberius. It's a great place to bring your students and explore history. Especially on a lovely day like this, you can imagine dining here, being a guest of the emperor himself, and you'd have fish. That's what's on the menu. So just a short drive south of Rome along the coast, Sperlonga, you can experience this incredible history, the natural landscape and setting, the sculptural groups, and the history of ancient Rome tied to the Emperor Tiberius here in Sperlonga.